It is official. JetBlue is buying Spirit Airlines for $3.8 billion. But you probably knew that already. So here's what we don't know. So what we don't fully understand yet is the effects of this deal that just went through. So in just a matter of a few years, maybe like two to three years, Spirit will be completely gone. They're going to take all of Spirit Airlines, Airbus, A319, A320s, A321 Neos, and put JetBlue certified seats with the FlyFi and the snacks and the in-flight entertainment screen that shows you the flight tracker. JetBlue is officially saying bye to that a la carte experience. It looks like even with this huge acquisition for JetBlue, they still will not be a top four carrier in the United States. In fact, they'll be the fifth biggest carrier in the United States and they will be a direct challenger to the big four. Huge focus cities for JetBlue's new acquisition is going to be Fort Lauderdale and New York. I see that as a good thing because my home base airport is Fort Lauderdale Airport and it looks like they're going to be focusing here. But they're going to get rid of my favorite $29 Spirit Airlines fare. I know JetBlue doesn't cost $29, especially if you want to carry on and a nice seat somewhere not gonna be 30 bucks so i'm gonna have to be paying 100 bucks compared to like 30 bucks for the same thing now with JetBlue. it's really funny it looks like from what i'm reading they're just acquiring spirit to get their aircraft their routes their employees it has nothing to do with caring about the spirit brand it's just pure business are they going to combine true blue and free spirit points and the credit card true blue mosaic and free spirit yes it looks like they'll be combining jet blues loyalty true blue program with spirits program once they actually merge and become one. For the foreseeable future, there will be absolutely no change at all. So this will take a year or maybe two years to come into effect until you actually see Spirit gone. Basically meaning if you have a plane ticket with Spirit Airlines booked for like one year in advance right now, then there's a 100% chance you'll probably still be going on that exact flight you booked. One thing that JetBlue points out that they say is good for the customer is the JetBlue effect. Basically what they're saying the JetBlue effect is, is when they put JetBlue Airlines at a certain airport, it'll lower the fare of other legacy airlines like Delta and American Airlines. It will lower the fares altogether for all the airlines. More lowering of the fares than they would do for Spirit, an ultra low cost carrier, bare bones, a la carte experience, where all you pay for is a seat to get from point A to point B. I see that kind of making sense since currently JetBlue has a 5% market share in America, which is very tiny actually. And if they're right, they will be lowering the fares of American Airlines, Delta Airlines, because many more people are going to much rather fly with JetBlue Airlines if they see it like 100, 200 bucks less than Delta, American Airlines, because they're all very similar. Because let's be honest, all those airlines are pretty similar. You just get a nice cozy seat, a snack, treated like a king and a TV in front of your face. And finally, when JetBlue is asked, what's gonna happen to my ultra low cost carrier option? JetBlue basically just points fingers to other low cost airlines such as Allegiance, Frontier, Avello, Breeze. They just point out, oh, all these other low cost carriers are available, you know, go fly with another a la carte low cost carrier. But JetBlue is not gonna be an ultra low cost carrier, okay? You're gonna have to pay more for this which is totally fair. I mean, business is business. It'll be very interesting to see how this affects my travel plans. I just flew on Spirit Airlines and JetBlue Airlines in my recent video, actually. Go watch that video. And make sure to like and subscribe as well to get my future videos. Looks like I'm gonna have to hold Spirit Airlines closer in my arms nowadays because you won't see much more of it anymore in the future. Pretty sad to say. I mean, I love Spirit Airlines. I flew Spirit Airlines a lot, and I'm really hoping that all my Spirit Airline points convert to true blue points fairly but thank you for watching this short update video maybe you gained some information or maybe you already knew all these things but hopefully you learned at least one thing and thank you for watching like the video and peace out